This is the Galaxy Note 10 from 2019 and it's running Android 15. Yes, you heard that right. Samsung might not have fully updated its recent lineup yet, but here we are. Android 15 on a device that's, well, technically outdated. A five-year-old phone running the latest software in a world where manufacturers would much rather you upgrade than repurpose. But here's the thing. Android 15 didn't just magically land here. Nope. This is Lineage OS 22.1, a custom ROM that breathes new life into phones the tech industry would rather you forget. In this video, I'll dive into everything, this ROM, its pros and cons, and a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how you can get it running on your Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. So first, let me tell you what's good about this ROM. The standout feature, a clean, bloatware-free software experience, no ads, no pre-installed clutter you didn't ask for. And let me tell you, that makes a difference. This thing feels faster than it has any right to, like it's borrowed the speed of a flagship that actually came out this year. Everything just works. The experience is smooth, and honestly, it feels great to use. Even the Geekbench scores? Pretty impressive, in case you were curious. App responsiveness? Crisp. The gaming experience? Solid. And no sudden battery drains or heating issues to report. So far, so good. But here's where it gets interesting. Lineage OS also gives you something most stock ROMs don't. Control. Privacy-focused features like advanced permission management, and regular security updates. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't all sunshine and rainbows. The S Pen, well, it's just another stylus here. No palm rejection, no Bluetooth features. Here, it's downgraded to just a pen. Functional, sure, but it's not the wizard wand it used to be. And if you're holding on to Samsung-specific apps, like Samsung Notes or Dex, this ROM doesn't have those. Banking apps, most work, like JazzCash and Sadapay in my tests. But hey, your mileage may vary. Now, about the cameras, they all work just fine. But there's no continuous zoom through the slider and video quality maxes out at 4K at 30 frames per second. Alright, let's slap Android 15 onto your Galaxy Note 10. But first, hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Anyway, let's get started. If you are still on stock firmware, first, update to the latest version Samsung has pushed for your device. That's important. It ensures your base system is compatible with what we are about to do. Now, if you are already rocking a custom ROM, congrats, you are ahead of the curve. Just keep following along for the Lineage OS specific bits. But let's assume this is your first experience with custom ROMs. Don't worry, I'll break down every step so you're not left scratching your head. And if you are already a pro, well, just jump to the part that matters to you. First things first, make sure your device is charged. Anything above 30% is the sweet spot because no one wants their phone to die mid-installation. Next, an important caveat. This process only works on Exynos models of the Note 10 series. If you've got a Snapdragon variant, sorry, this one's not for you. Heads up, this will wipe everything on your device. So unless you're cool with starting fresh, make sure to back up your data. And while you're at it, unlink any Google or Samsung accounts tied to the phone. Got all that? Cool, now let's really dive in. Enable developer settings. Start by going to About Phone in the Settings menu. From there, tap on Software Information and then tap the build number seven times. Yep, seven times. That'll unlock the developer settings for you. Once that's done, head back to the main settings menu and find developer settings. Got it? Perfect. Tap on it and then enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. In some cases, this might reset your device to factory settings, but don't worry, that's completely normal and part of the process. If your device doesn't ask for a reset, that's fine too. As long as the OEM unlock toggle is on, you're good to go. Now, turn off your device completely. All right, grab your data cable and your laptop. It's about to get technical. Connect the cable to your PC, then press and hold the volume up and volume down keys on your Note 10 together. And just like that, you're on the bootloader screen. Now, to unlock the bootloader, press and hold the volume up button for a few seconds. A new screen with instructions will pop up. Pay close attention here. As soon as you press the volume up key to confirm unlocking the bootloader, immediately press and hold both the volume up and volume down keys again. Why? This step keeps your phone from rebooting straight back into the operating system. Once you've done that, press volume up one more time to continue. And voila, you're now in download mode. Now let's handle the prep work. You're going to need a few files to make this happen. All the links are right there in the description of this video. Here's what you need. Samsung USB drivers. 
install these first. Without them, your PC and phone won't speak the same language. Odin Tool This is your go-to for flashing files onto your phone. Download it and save it on your PC. Lineage OS 22 Head over to the Lineage OS website and download the latest version for your Galaxy Note 10. Don't forget to grab the recovery and view meta files too. Magisk file. If you want root access, this one's a must. Play integrity fix file. Along with the root file, you'll need this to make things work smoothly later on. 7-zip. If you don't have it already, download this tool to convert files into DAR format. SDK platform tools. This is Google's official toolkit for communicating with your phone via the command line. You'll use it to sideload files later. And the Google Apps package. Now, switch over to your laptop and open the folder where you've downloaded all the files. If you've been following along, everything should be chilling in your downloads folder. Step 1. Locate the Samsung USB driver file. Click on it and follow the basic install wizard steps. Next, next, install. Super simple. Step 2. Find the platform tools zip file. Right click on it and extract the contents. You'll see a new folder pop up in the same directory. This is where we'll do most of the heavy lifting later. Step 3. In your downloads folder, rename the files to keep things straightforward. Change the Lineage OS ROM file name to just rom.zip. Rename the gapps file to simply gaps.zip. And for the magisk file, rename it to root.zip. This will save you from wrestling with unnecessarily long file names when we're in the heat of flashing. Step 4. This is where 7-zip comes in handy. For each .img file, recovery.img and vbmeta.img, do the following. Right-click the file. Hover over 7-zip and select Add to Archive. In the dialog box, set the archive format to TAR and click OK. You'll now see .tar versions of those files in the folder. To keep things clean, delete the original .img file so there's no confusion. After that, perform the same steps for the VB meta file. Finally, select the rom.zip, gaps.zip and root.zip files if you are planning to root and cut them. Navigate to the platform tools folder you extracted earlier and paste them there. Now, everything we need is in one convenient spot for the next steps. Alright, let's keep rolling. Locate the Odin file you downloaded earlier. Right click on it, extract the contents and open the folder. Inside, you'll find the Odin EXE file. Double click it to launch. Once Odin starts, check for an indicator that confirms your device is connected. Usually, this shows as a COM port highlighted in blue. If you see that, you're good to go. Click on the Options tab and turn off Auto Reboot. This step is super important, so don't skip it. Click AP and navigate to the folder where you saved your files. Select the recovery.tar file we converted earlier. Next, click CP and choose the vbmeter.tar file. Once both files are loaded, click Start. Odin will now begin the flashing process. In just a few seconds, it should complete and display a big green pass message. It's time to test what we just installed. Here's how to boot into Lineage Recovery. Press and hold power button, volume up and volume down button together. The moment the device powers off, Release the volume down button, but keep holding the other two. When the Samsung logo appears, release the power button, but keep holding volume up. Wait a few seconds. And welcome to Lineage Recovery. Now that you are in recovery, it's time to clean the device. Tap Factory Reset and confirm to format the data. Next, tap Format System Partition and erase it as well. Once that's done, return to the main menu. Tap Apply Update and select Apply from ADB. Navigate to the Platform Tools folder, right-click inside the folder and select Open in Terminal or Command Prompt depending on your OS. In the Terminal window, type ADB Devices. If you see your device listed, congratulations, you are ready to go. Now, to begin the ROM installation, type ADB space sideload, rom.zip, then hit Enter. The installation will start and you'll see the progress on both your phone and the command window. It might take a few minutes, so grab a coffee and hang tight. Once it's done, you'll see the message. 
Install completed with status 0. Now, on your phone, head back to the recovery main menu. Tap advanced, then select reboot to recovery. Let the device reboot, it's all part of the process. Once your device is back in lineage recovery, it's time to install gapps. Tap apply update, then choose apply from ADB again. Back on your PC, in the same terminal window, still inside the platform tools folder, type ADB siloed gapps.zip. Enter to start the installation. You'll see the progress on both your phone and the command window. If a message like signature verification failed, install anyway, pops up on your phone. Choose yes and let it continue. Once it's done, you'll see. Install completed with status zero. Tap reboot system now. Be patient. It might take three to five minutes to pass the boot animation and get to the welcome screen. Once there, set up your device as you normally would. There it is, Android 15, complete with the latest security patches. How cool is that? Let me know if you're happy with it. After logging into your Google account and checking your device's status in the Play Store, you might see the message, device is not certified. Without official Google Play Protect certification, apps requiring strict security measures might not work as expected. If you want to make your device certified, you'll need to root your phone. If you're ready to root, let's continue. If not, you can stop here. Your device is already running. Lineage OS. Turn off your device, but keep it connected to your PC via the cable. Follow these steps to enter Lineage Recovery. Press and hold Power button, Volume Up and Volume Down buttons simultaneously. When the device powers off, release the Volume Down button, but keep holding the other two. When the Samsung logo appears, release the Power key, but keep holding Volume Up. You are now back in Lineage Recovery. Tap Apply Update, then choose Apply from ADB. Back on your PC, in the terminal window, type ADB silo root.zip. Press enter to begin the routing process. If your phone displays signature verification failed, install anyway, choose yes to proceed. The process will complete with the message, install completed with status zero. Your Galaxy Note 10 is now rooted, running Android 15 and prepped for additional tweaks to achieve Play Protect certification. In lineage recovery, Select Reboot System now and let your device restart. Once your device has rebooted, plug your phone into your PC and allow USB file transfer by choosing Files Transfer when prompted. Navigate to the Downloads folder on your PC and copy the following files to your phone's internal storage. Open your File Manager and locate the apprelease.apk file. Tap the file to install the Magisk app, granting any necessary permissions. If Magisk Osfer requires additional setup, cancel it. Go to Settings within the Magisk app and enable the required toggles. In Magisk, go to Modules and select Install from Storage. Locate the PlayIntegrityFix.zip file in your phone's storage, tap on it, and install the module. Head to Settings, then Apps. Find Google Play Store and Google Play Services, then clear their data one by one. Restart your phone. After restarting, open the Play Store and check your device's status. You should now see Devices Certified. That's it! Your Galaxy Note 10 is now running the cleanest version of Android 15, rooted and certified for seamless use. Let me know your experience with this ROM in the comments below. See you there!